ومن يطيع الرسول فقد اطاع الله duk wanda ya biya ga manzon Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam kai tsayi ya biya ne ga Allah to shi yasa sune masu darai sune wato ainihin bubbuga guda biyu manya manya wanda zaka dauko abin da zaka yi na ibada abu na biyu kai dan Allah idan kai abin da Allah ya shar'anta ko abin da manzon sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya shar'anta amma ba kai dan Allah ba shi ma aikin ya rushe Allah ba zai karba ba kuma umiru illa liya'budu allaha mukhlisin Allah bai umurci mutane ba sai dai face su bauta masa suna ma tsarkake ibada zuwa gare shi to Allah zai yi sakamako gobe kiyama da mafi kyau ah sana ma amilu mafi kyau bisa abin da suka aikata sa'an nan wani kari Allah ta'ala ce wai zidahu min fadlihi sai kuma Allah ta'ala ya kara wa mutane saboda falallar sa shi mai falalla ne dama ya kara mutane cikin falallan Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala shi yasa ba mai shiga aljanna sai idan Allah ta'ala ya rullube shi da rahmar sa yana cikin wannan falalar duk sallan mutum duk azumin sa duk zakkan sa duk hajin sa duk zikiri da yayi na sunna da kuma istighfari da salati ga manzo sa sallam da karanta qur'ani da kyauta ma yan uwa da iyaye duk wannan ba iya ba wa mutum matsayi cikin aljanna sai idan Allah ya so cikin falalar sa da rahmar sa ya rullube mutum to sai mutum ya shiga aljanna saboda zama a cikin aljanna bai haduwa da ayyukan da mutun ya a duniya duk da za a ce mu yan aljanna ku shiga bisa abin da kuka aikata bima kuntun ta'maluna to amma ba wai kama a ce an biya ka ne dai da dai an biya ba a'a falalla da rahma Allah ta'ala ita kade ka iya kai mutun bayan ya gabatar da sanadi sanadi wato dalilin shiga din in mutun bai dalili to ba zai shiga ba wallahi zai kara musu cikin falallar sa wallahi shi Allah ya rizuku yana azurta man ya sha wadda ya so bi ghairi hisab ba tare da lissafi ba ba hisabi in Allah ya so ka kai abin da yake so to sai Allah ta ala ya ma azuki idan an ce azuki a Najeriya ana nufin kai gida ko a maita ma in Abuja ne kenan ina Lagos ne ko a wani angwalaki ko wani dai wani waje ne da ake tinkaho da shi ko amma wasu motoci masu numfashi ko a kazanto kana da jirage na musamman naka kana hawan su wani abu ne na duniya shi mutane suka dauka arziki arziki ya wuce arziki wadda ya samu lahira shi ya arziki shi ya arziki don wannan arzikin malaikan daukar rai yana bayyana zaka manta kai arziki Allah ta'ala ya mana da sauki Allah ta'ala ya azurta mu azurta wadda wato ainihin babu hisabi akai na'am Wasil in surat an-nur verse 38 We read yesterday that Allah the most high is light and he is the source of uh, light on this earth the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is light the quran is light and that light pushed the believers and take them to a special house known as masjid in order to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are not being diverted from worshiping Allah establishing salat giving zakat a remembrance of Allah by any form of diversion such as business so because of this they are submission to Allah then Allah promises to pay them to give them a recompense la jazihum Allah ahsana ma amilu that Allah the most high may reward them with the best of what they did with the best of what they have been doing meaning uh, what you did in this world as a righteous servant of Allah Allah will give you not in commensurate to what you did rather uh, better Allah will give you better than what you have done you can see this in so many aspects of worship the way Allah the most high allocates reward to an act of worship you dedicate to him Uh, if you perform <coughs> any righteous deed sincerely for Allah's sake your reward will start from 10 and from that 10 it will it will continue to be multiplied to whatever number Allah the most high wishes depending on your sincerity so also the fasting of Ramadan uh, that we are observing which is 30 days uh, attracts reward of 10 month 
a few fast shawal, six days in shawal, it attracts the reward of another two months. Therefore, you are going to get a reward as if you have spent the whole year observing fasting. You who fast for only 30 days and then with additional six in the, the month of shawal. This indicates that Allah the Most High gives you a reward, not in commensurate to what you did, rather in the best, uh, in the best way from what or not you have done. Um, وَبِمَا عَمِلُوا وَيَزِيدَهُمْ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ And in, after rewarding the believers in the best form, He still increases them from His favor. Allah the Most High increases the believers from His favor. In as much as you have done all you, had, you did for the sake of Allah, you take guidance from Allah and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because whatever you do, devoid of Allah's command, devoid of Prophet Sallallahu command, then you are not going to get reward for that. So that is condition number one. Number two, after doing it, that uh, following the command of Allah or that of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then it must be sincere. You do it sincerely. The command given to you by the Prophet Sallallahu is the same as that given by Allah because obedience to him is direct obedience to Allah. وَمَنْ يُطِعِ الرَّسُولَ فَقَدْ عَطَى اللَّهُ Whosoever obeys the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he has indeed obeyed Allah the Most High. So you do it for the sake of Allah, sincerely without uh, any form of uh, riya or shirk. Allah the Most High also will increase believers from his own uh, favor. Because the paradise that Allah the Most High gives to his obedient servant is only for his own bounty, for his own favor. Because what you have done, earn you paradise. Even the Prophet Sallallahu has mentioned that none of you can deserve entrance into paradise because of what he did except by the mercy of Allah the Most High. min <laughs> fadlihi. Allah the Most High provides whom He wishes from His favor without limit. It is Allah the Most High, the owner of everything. If you see somebody counting before He gives, that person is still poor, no matter how rich he is. But Allah the Most High gives without limit, and whatever He gives, no matter how much He gives, the reward. The favor will never end. Uh, if you mention rizq, as far as we are concerned, the first thing we think about is say uh, money. You get connection, you get one very strong business, you own properties in uh, expensive areas, let's say in Abuja, in Asokoro, Maitama, and so on. In other states, the best places, no. As far as rizq is concerned, these is not the rizq referred by Allah the Most High here. Because you may own the whole of this world. By the time you are seized by an angel, you have forgotten that you had been rich. Because you have forgotten that. Because now you have been seized by Allah's punishment. But this is the rizq, provision that is unfailing, that will continue forever, the rizq in paradise. بغير حساب without uh, uh, any limit. وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَعْمَالُهُمْ كَسَرَابٍ بِكِيْعَةٍ يَحْسَبُهُ الظَّمْآنُ مَا يَحْسَبُهُ الظَّمْآنُ مَا أَنْ حَتَّى إِذَا جَاءَهُ لَمْ يَجِدْهُ شَيْئًا لم يجده شيئا ووجد الله عنده فوفاه حسابه والله سريع الحساب توجيا من جمع سعيد الله تعالى يبقى أكن هسكنسا يلو كيموس أول لوكا شي نبيان قتلا دا قلبا دا تورار وامي هسكي دا كمامان زيتون مي هسكي har muka fito da wato ainihin wani irin haske wadda Allah ta'ala ya buga musayi da shi yana ba mu labarin zuciyar mu'mini 
wanda yake ce da ainihin imani da aikin kwarai to yau ma kuma ga misalin su kuma wa'adda suka ki bin Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala suka furta ayyukan su misalin ayyukan su Allah ta'ala ce walladhina kafaru wa'adda suka yi kafurci a amaluhum ayyukan su kasarabin bibaqiya ayyukan su yana nan ne kamar kawawainiya wanda ke apili na sahara mai yawa wanda kuma yake labor wato ba tudu ba kwari bima da idan kana irin wannan filin zaka iya ganin kamar daga nan zuwa kubuwa daga nan zuwa gwagwalada saboda wajen yana miƙa kwance ba tudu ba gangare ba kwari na sahara to idan aka yi rana mai yawa zaka iya ganin saboda ranan saboda kuma yadda yanayin wannan kasan yake sai ka dinga hangen kamar wani abu ne ruwa a can a kwance a gaba da yawa za ga wannan idan kana kan kwalta wanda yake da yake da wato ainihin labor kuma yake da nisa kuma ana tsannin rana sai ga wani abu can a kwance gaban kamar ruwa to an fi samun sa a sahara musamman idan kasan wajen yana nan a kwance labor ba tudu ba gangare to Allah ta'ala ce su ayyukan kafir rai tamkar kamar wannan kawawe ne a din ne haka ayyukan su yake wato wani abu ne wanda kike hangen sa can ne sa amma ba shi ba shi to haka duk wanda bai yadda da Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala ba to aikin sa babu shi babu shi to sai Allah ta'ala ce ya sabu zam'an shi wanda ke jin kishi idan ya ga irin wannan ruwan ma sai zaci ruwa ne saboda shi farko yana da larura ta kishin ruwa abin da ke a tunanin sa ko da yau shi ruwa kuma ina zai samu ruwa kuma ya za a yi wannan ta iso mashi saboda yana cikin tsananin kishi shi sa idan kana bukatan wani abu za ka kana wani lokaci muka yi sa'a ba sai ka dinga yawan mafarkin abu kana neman kwangila a wata ma'aikata sai kana mafarkin kwangila ko kana so ka auro wata ana nan ana ta bugawa ga masu nema sun yawa kai ma ka shigo ka kawo malamai ai addu'a ana ta addu'a he kai bacci he ka dinga jin kana mafarkin an daura auren ka a masallaci saboda hankalinka duk yana wancan wajen to haka shi wanda yake da wani bukata hankalinsa na karkata kan bukatansa shi sa aka ce babu wanda yake son Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala kamar rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam saboda shi duk hankalinsa yana kan Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala to haka shi mai wani bukata yake to shi wannan mai kishi ruwan abinda dama yake so ya ji maganar ruwa ina za a samu ruwa ya za a tono ruwa ya za a samu abin nan to saboda haka idan ya ga wannan abinda zai zata kawo ruwa ne ruwa zai zaki cewa yana gaban sa Allah ta'ala ya ce hatta idha ja'ahu ha sai lokacin da wannan mai kishi ruwan ya iso inda yake zaton wannan ruwan yake to shi kenan da yake damun ba ruwa ne ba wato wato haske ne ya harhadu da na rana da na wajen sai yayi wani abu da yake kama da ruwa amma ba ruwan ne ba Allah ta'ala ya ce hatta idha ja'ahu ha sai idan shi wannan wanda bai imani da Allah bai iso wajen lam yajid shay'a ba zai samu komai ba shi sa idan kana tafiya kana hangen wannan da ka iso wajen ba ruwan sai ka yanshi kuma a gaba can haka za ka yi tafiya da za ka yi tafiya kilo 100 ba za ka ga ruwan ba lam yajid shay'a babu komai a wajen wa wajad Allah sai ya samu Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala indahu a wajen fa wafahu hisabahu sai Allah ta'ala ya cika mai hisabin sa bima'ana yana nan yana tafiya yana nan yana tafiya kwatsam sai ya mutu sai ga shi aka bayi kwatsam sai tsayo al-qiyama sai kuma hisabi wannan misali ne wanda ke raye kamar yadda yake zaton ruwa ne yana zato yana zato yana zato har ya kai inda zai je ba ruwar haka shi ma zai ta zato cewa yana kullu al-khairi amma shari yake kullawa sai ga shi ya samu kansa gaban Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala a wannan misalin na ayyuka ne na kafurai amma muslimi ya hattara 
Do wani musulmin bai da wani aiki da mun na alkhairi. Do inda ake shari yana wajen, duk an ake barna yana wajen, inda ake ibada baya wajen, inda ake salla farillan salla na jami baya wajen. Aka ce zakka bai bayarwa, aka ce umura ko haji bai zuwa. Duk komai shi da yana nan sunansa musulmi. To shi ma haka zai je rasi babu aiki. Ya mun babu duk wanda bai aiki ba za a kago aiki a bashi ba. Sai wanda ya aiki. Shi yasa sahabai suka fi kowa morewa. Da sun taru suna tuna mu jurin su aiki. Domin shi ne daukakan su. Kamar da yanka samu yan kasuwa in sun taru abinda za su tauna yaya. Yaya kasuwanci. Ya za a samu riba. In ka samu yan canji, ya maganar dala, yaushe za ta kare, kowa zai karya ta. Haka za ka samu kowa da irin fagen da yake so yake tattaunawa akai. To haka sai kwatsam ya ga kansa a kabari. Duk wanda yake kabari a yau ba shiri yayi ba. Yace ma Allah na shirya a zo a tafi. A'a. Yawanci wanda za ka gani a kabari a yau, yadda muke din nan a raye ba sani ba washe gari kawai sai ga su a kabari. Mu shi sa mai dabara kullun ya mori dama da yake da shi ta rayuwa. Dama ta rayuwa, dama ce mai tsadan gaske. Shi Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala ba wai wanne yake tila samu ya barka ba a'a lokaci ne kawai bai ba. Ba a barin ka dan ilimin ka, ba a barin ka dan imanin ka, ba a barin ka dan wautan ka, ba a barin ka dan sabon ka. Duk abin da ka san dan Adam yana yi ba a barin shi dan ita, ana barin shi ne domin lokaci bai yi ba. Saboda ka kowannen mu in ba sa'a aka yi ba, zai samu kansa ne a kabari kwatsam. To waye more wanda yake aiki yake amfani da dama dama ta minti dai karka bata ta wuce sai ka more ta na abinda zai amfane ka a lahira to wa'annan su suka su suka more rayuwa su suka ba mutuwa shiri Allah ta'ala ce sai ga Allah a gaban sa an zo kiyama kaga misalin da aka bayar misali ce na yana zatan yana zatan yana zatan har gashi gaban Allah zato ya kare yanzu sai hisabi sai a cika mai ayyukan sa Allah ya sa a cika mana na alkhairi wallahu shi Allah sari'ul hisab Allah mai sauri ne wajen hisabi sa ba irin hisabi ne dan adam ai ta jin kiri lawaya ya zo ita turanci wani lawayan ma ya zo wani lawayoyi kaga mutun an biyo shi da lawaya 30 duk za a yi zo a turanci saboda a kare abin da ake ci misali shi alkalima ya rue ni turancin ta mai yawa shi Allah babu shi ba wannan kawai kai da kanka za ka karanta littafin ka ina maganar lawaya da kanka bakin ka ma dade shi za a yi a ce yayi bai yi hakuri yanzu ba ranar magana sa bane kafa da hannu duk su yi magana magana a je a nemo shaida ko a je a burkita shaida duk bata taso ba kai ne shaidan shi sa mu kan mu hisabi mu yi aiki na gari gari domin a ranar mu samu sauki Allah ya manan da sauki والذين كفروا اعمالهم كسراب الله the most high is given us a description of the deeds righteous deed of those who disbelieve it is nothing uh, except like sarab mirage in a desert which someone who is extremely thirsty thinks that it was or it is water mirage is something that looks like water if you are traveling when it is extremely hot you will see on the culture ahead of you like there is a stagnant water so the same thing Someone who disbelieves in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is how his deed looks like. By the time someone who is thirsty see water in front of him or ahead of him, he will feel very happy that by the time he reaches that point, he is going to get water that will quench his thirsty. However, by the time he reaches the place, his hope will be dashed meaning he will not find anything. Therefore, his happiness will turn into, uh, into sadness. 
So the righteous deed or the deed of those who disbelieve is as useless as that. It is not going to benefit them, neither in this world or the hereafter. Kasarabin bi'i'atin yahsabuhu dhamanu ma'a is just like a mirage which someone who is thirsty on a journey looks like there is water ahead of him therefore he will be happy and he will feel he will have glad tidings that he is going to quench his thirsty with the water he saw uh, he sees ahead of him hatta idha ja'ahu until he reach or he comes at that very point which he saw that mirage which looks like water let me jiru shaa he will find nothing he will find it as nothing he will see the place as dry as anything and ahead of him also he will continue to see that mirage by the time he reached that point he will find nothing so that is similar that is the same as the righteous did or did performed by an unbeliever because he did not fulfill the condition of acceptance of that righteous deed let alone any reward from Allah the Most High by the time he reached that point he will find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for Fahu Isaba Allah the Most High will give him full account of his deed what this uh, parable uh, is dr driving home to uh, uh, is uh, trying to let us understand is that if one failed to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then he will definitely get nothing in the hereafter with Allah the Most High as he is alive thinking that he is doing good he deserves paradise he deserves this, this and that then he dies as he dies he will find his record with nothing except what except sins disbelief in Allah anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Therefore, for Fahu Isaba, Allah will give him full recompense of what he did, meaning Allah will put him uh, into hellfire. Because he was thinking that if he goes, if he reach the, the hereafter, he will also have good. As he is enjoying in this world, so also he will enjoy in the hereafter. After all, all he did was made useless by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he did not believe in Allah. فَوَفَاهُ حِسَابَهُ وَاللَّهُ سَرِيعُ الْحِسَابُ Allah the Most High is swift in giving account. If one did not do righteous deed, there is no way he can see reward with Allah the Most High. So this description is a description of the deed performed by the disbelievers. It will be as useless as that mirage which someone who is thirsty thinks that there is water for him to quench his thirsty. By the time he reached that point, he will find nothing. Therefore, his happiness will turn into uh, opposite. So also, they were thinking that when they reach Allah the Most High, when they meet Allah, they will have reward and they will earn paradise. But by the time they reach Allah, meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will find nothing of righteous deeds. Therefore, their recompense will be uh, hellfire. Wallahu sari'u al-hisab. Allah the Most High is swift in terms of giving account. So the description of the deed of believers. A believer should also be very, very careful. Iman is not just one to say that he believes without righteous deed and then he thinks that he is going to get paradise. There is no way you can get reward if he did not do that righteous deed. So don't be surprised. You are calling yourself a Muslim. You are not doing the uh, righteous deed being done by the Muslims and think that in the day of Qiyamah you will have paradise, you will be surprised that you will not have it. So we should be very careful. We should do the best we could in order to please Allah the Most High so that our deeds will not look like sarab, mirage, when we meet Allah the Most High. اهدني فيه ينور لياليه أنا سونا سكذا كوك ما سونا سكذا أنا لو كان سونا يدك بيو أنسى ما يسونا بيو أنا كيرنسا
dan juma domin ndarar ranar juma a kafe shi sa'an nan kuma an sa mai suna Muhammadu duk ana kiran sa a gida a kawai an san shi da dan juma sa'an nan a rubuci an san shi da Muhammadu sai ka ce ko dai ana ce mai Muhammadu ko kuma au ana ce mashi dan juma duk dai sunan sa to su wayan nan kafarawa da Allah ta'ala bayanin ayyukan su da kuma yadda zai kasance babu goma kiyama sai ya sake buga wani misalin da irin yadda ayyukan su zai kasance kana iya cewa au ka zulumatin fi barin luji abin da ake nufi au wato a'maluhum ka zulumatin ayyukan su kamar ka ce duffan dare ne jam'in duhu na dare duhu kwa daya duffai idan yana da yawa zuluma shine duhu idan rana ta fadi duhu ya shigo musamman inda ba fitila sai a ce akwai duhu anan wajen to saboda balagan larabawa kagan aka ce duhu ai duhu ne kawai shi kenan in duhu ne daga nan haka duhu ai duhu ne to alarabci akwai zulumat duffai wato duhu dai biyu har da yawa har miliyoyin duhu saboda yawar sa to ana kinaya da shine idan duhu ya kai duhu ya kure duhu sai a ce zulumat amma da kirga za ka yi ba za ka kirga daya biyu uku wani na duhu ko kaman ka kirga ruwa ba a bai kirgo ai sai ka ce ruwa kawai to amma saboda balagan larabci zulumatin shine duhu wadda yake mafi tsanani sa'an nan ana iya samun duhu wadda yake gashi nan duhu daya akwai kuma wani duhu akwai kuma wani duhu sai duhu suka taru suka yi yawa sai a ce mai shi ma zulumatin duffai kamar yadda zamu ji a wannan ayyan au ka zulumatin ayyukan su kaman duffai ne fi barin luji wannan duhu a dauko shi a tsoma shi a cikin kuma teku kaga duhu ya karo idan kana da duhu a waje aka ce kuma ga wannan duhu ya karo kuma a cikin teku to duhu karuwa zai ba raguwa zai ba amma in yana cikin a rana ta yi rana ya dan ratsa shi kadan gadan dan haske haske amma ka tsoma abu mai duhu kuma a cikin teku ai duhu karuwa zai Allah ta'ala ce kuma a cikin tekun ma luji teku mai zurfi duk teku idan ka san shi da mun zurfi ne da shi ko gine ake cewa wannan na da zurfi ko ba ya da amma teku zurfi ne da shi to kuma Allah ta'ala sai ya ce mafi zurfin tekun yakshahu mawjun min fawqihi mawji wannan duhu wadda yake cikin teku wadda kuma tekun mai zurfi sai Allah ta'ala kuma ya sake cewa wadda ke akwai kuma taguwar ruwa idan ruwa na tafiya za ga idan ya ya ambaliya sai ga taguwar ruwa wannan hawan kan wani kamar rakumin ruwa musamman idan aka yi ruwan sama a abin nan yawanci a garuruwan da zaka samu suna da kamar a ba za a ce teku ba kamar a ce suna da magudanar ruwa ko da dan karami ne idan ruwan ya yawa sai ka samu wannan magudanar ruwan ya ya zama dan kogi kogi haka yana tafiya shi ko kogi da aka yi mashi wannan ruwan da dauda da waye sai ka samu yana taguwar ruwa yana hawa yana raƙon raƙumin ruwa da dauda da komai yana diba yana tafiya da shi da ƙarfin sa to shi wannan tekun sai zaman to yana da taguwar ruwa sa'an nan kuma ga raƙumin ruwa duk ya kwashi dauda yana hawa za ga shi shi ruwan ba zai tafi a miƙe ba dai dinga yin tudu ne yana sauka yana tudu yana har ma yana iya zubar da kwalekwale idan ba karfi ne da shi ba har ma iya iya jike tafiyan teku a tafiyan wato ainin jigin ruwa manyan manyan jiragen ruwa yakan wahal da su idan aka samu irin wannan yanayi a musamman kuma idan hadda iska a teku din Allah ta'ala ce ga mawjun min fawqihi mawj shi ma kuma taguwar ruwan akan sa kuma akwai taguwar ruwa a sama kenan kenan ambaliyar ruwa kenan mai yawa a cikin ruwa sai ce min fawqihi sahab sa'an nan kuma a saman tekun akwai girgije gajimare na ruwa wadda shi ma duhu ne shi ma ba haske ne idan da yanzu aka ga wajen ya rike ce da gajimare da girgijen ruwa sai ka ga cewa lalle za a ce za a yi ruwa saboda yanayi ya riga ya kawo duhun sa to duk wannan ana bayani ne akan tsananin duhu ana so kuma a ba mu labarin zuciyar kafir yadda take da duhu saboda babu Allah a cikin ta sabarin zuciyar mu'mini wadda ke da haske a cikin ta shi sai Allah ta'ala ya ce innal ladhina kafaru sawa'un alayhim a anzartahum am lan tanzuru la yu'minun khatamallahu ala qulubihim wa ala sam'ihim wa ala absarihim gishawa 
irin wannan gishawa din da Allah ta'ala ya ambata ya gishahu mujun an riga an an dade shi an rufe shi kunnan baiji idan bai gani baya sunsunan gaskiya baya fadin gaskiya baya daukan gaskiya to idan ka samu mumini wanda yake da haske to aka sunsa ne zaka gane wannan wajen mu'amala idan kana mu'amala da mai haske mumini ba zai cuce ka ba biya da ake cuta a Najeriya nan ba zai cuce ka ba sai ce maka naira goma to naira goma nan ne in ka sai haka sai an baka sai ba amma shi wancan yana fa sallah fa saboda shi ma ya soma daukan bakin zuciya sai ya ce maka naira 50 in zaka tafi sai ya ce wallahi tallahi 30 na sai kai waye tambaye ka waye ce ka rantse saboda rashin gaskiya da zaka taya 20 sai ya sayar maka bayan kuma ya ce wallahi tallahi 30 ya sayar abu abu abun goma ne goma ake sai da to ko jan ma'amala zaka gane wanda ke da haske da wanda ke da duhu yayi kariya yayi zalunci yayi ciwacuwa duk abin da ka sani na barna zaka same shi a ciki za ku yi alkawari ba zai cika ba ba zai baka hanzari ba zai ka yi bashin ka yanayi malamai su rufe ma baki ba za ka kara magana wannan bashin ba duk ana samun irin haka saboda bakin zuciya to 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 wannan zuciyan ba na musulmi ne ba yi kokari in yana da irin wannan ya canza ya koma zuciya mai haske yayi dogaro akan Allah shi ke bayarwa shi ke hana to wannan misali da Allah ya buga mana na zuka zuka tan wato ainin kafurawa sai Allah ta'ala ce zulumatu ba'duha fuqa ba'd duffai ne shashin su a dora akan shashi to ga abin da ake so a bayan nan natija a ce Allah ta'ala ce idha akharja yadahu da mutum zai sa hannunsa shi wannan mutum mai wannan duffan da zai fidda tafin hannunsa lam ya kadiraha ba zai ga tafin hannun ba idan tafin hannun yana cikin wannan duhun da baka bayyana da zai duba da irinsa ba zai iya gani ba saboda duhun yayi yawa duhun yayi yawa Allah ta'ala ce wa man lam ya'allahu aduran duk wanda Allah ta'ala bai sanya mashi haske ba fa ma lahu min nurin wannan ba zai samu haske ba har abada shi yasa mu dage mu kara haske bisa haske haskin fatara da Allah ta'ala ya halice mu akai na dan adam mutumin kirki ne aslan sa'an nan haske na mutun yayi imani da Allah shi ma karin haske ne haske na bin rasulullahi sallallahu alaihi wasallam shi ma karin haske ne haske na kana karanta alqur'ani kana jin abin da Allah ya fadi kana tabbakawa shi ma haske ne wayannan hasken bisa haske shi ke taro a gobe kiyama kaga mutun yana cikin haske ana cikin duhu za ka shena cikin haske ana hal tsallake siradi mutane suna cikin duhu shi yana cikin haske wasu ma sai sai Allah ta'ala ya musu yadda suka yi duniya munafukai kenan suna cikin musulmai amma munafukai ne sai su tashi da kaman da hasken su da sun hau kan siradi sai hasken ya dauke sai su tambaya sai ina hasken mu sai a ce ku koma ku dauko ai kowa daga duniya zo da hasken sa masu haske sai ga suna suna da hasken suna tafiya har tsallake siradi shi kenan sai aljanna wani kuma daman da ya zo ba hasken shi kenan sai jahannama zai yawo a ciki bai sauka ga sa ba sai ya shekara dubu sabain yana murgina to na bai sauka ba shi shi zaka bari irin wannan irin wannan tunani ka sa wani abu na duniya ya halaka ka yana shekara 50 60 har ma ka kai sabain jira kawai ake a cewa ne ya cika amma kai baka sani ba kana tarkici da rigima Allah ya sauke na aw kadhulumatin fi bahril jigin another similitude parable of the deeds performed by the disbelievers it is either the first one given so that you understand that it is useless just like mirage which you find you benefit nothing from it it doesn't help you to quench your thirst therefore it is useless or it is like this aw kadhulumatin fi bahril lujig just like darknesses fi bahril lujig inside a vast and deep ocean or sea on top of those darknesses yagshahu mauj is covered 
by waves of water. Min fawqihi mawjun and on top of that layer of waves another layer of waves that increase the intensity of the darkness. Min fawqihi sahab and the darkness also increased, increases in darkness that on top of it is cloud that is heavy and also dark. So layers of darkness upon layers of darkness. That's why Allah says, Aw kazulumatin. It is oh it is like darknesses because the darkness is not one darkness. It is the deep the uh Lijig, deep ocean is enough a darkness that you cannot see anything inside. Then on top of that darkness of deep ocean is another darkness of waves. On top of the layer of that waves, another layer of waves that increase the darkness again. Then again on top of that layer, the topmost layer is a cloud that is black which increase the darkness again. This is the similitude of the deeds of those who disbelieve because it is devoid of Iman. Allah says it is darknesses layers upon layers. For you to imagine the darkness. Now if you stretch your hand for example now you can see everything in your hand. The way your hand is designed you can see the big ones and the small ones, the way they curve, you can analyze, you can describe everything, you can even write the way it is, because there is light. But because that darkness is layers upon layers, he who is inside that darkness, if he stretch his hand like this, he can hardly see his hand. So this is the similitude of the deed performed by those who disbelieve because it is useless, it will never benefit them. Lam yakad yaraha wa man lam yaj'ali lahu lahu nuran Whosoever Allah the Most High did not grant light to him fama lahu min nur There is no way he can get any source of light. The source of light is Iman which they rejected in their life in this world. Therefore they are covered by evil upon evil upon evil. The heart is covered by darkness of disbelief. Their deed is also being guided by that darkness of disbelief. Therefore it is evil upon evil. You cannot see anything that you appreciate in their life. Whoever Allah the Most High did not grant light there is no way he can get any source of light. So this is the description of those who disbelieve. Allah the Most High has sealed their heart. Therefore there is no way nur, light of Iman can penetrate. So a righteous deed performed with this description tell me how it can be of benefit to he who performs it. So the same way a disbeliever is not going to benefit we are in the sight of Allah whatever he performs because it lacks the condition, the prerequisite which is what which is Iman. <laughs> كُلٌّ قَدْ عَلِمَ صَلَاتَهُ وَتَسْبِيحَهُ وَاللَّهُ عَلِيمٌ بِمَا يَفْعَلُونَ حقاً الله تبارك وتعالى يجي ألم ترى شمب غني بني أن الله يجي وشي الله يسبيه له من في السماوات والأرض دك أبندك يجيكين سمي دا أبندك يجيكين كسا سنة تسبيه دا الله تبارك وتعالى Suna ambatang Allah, suna tolka ki Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. Shi sa tangadam idanyei ibadah wa Allah yaya wa kansani. Dik abinda kasani asama. 
na daga mala'iku na daga halittu da taurari duka suna tasbihi ga Allah ta'ala abin da ka sani a kasa na daga tsirrai da dabbobi duk suna tasbihi ga Allah tabarak wa ta'ala kowannen su yana yana tsarki Allah tabarak wa ta'ala yana ambatun Allah ta'ala ba su da zabin yin haka duk suna yi mu ne yan adam da jinnu aka ba mu zabi ko mu yi mu samu lada ko mu ki azaba na jira to ina aka ce har ta kasa yashi kowane kowane kwayan yashi yana tasbihi ga Allah ta'ala to kai 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 nawa kake adadin ka me kai ma wadda su kuma suna tasbihin nan babu saba mu Allah a cikin sa ta ce za ka yi sallah sau biyar duka duka sallan bai bai wuce minti 30 kowane sallah a ciki awa biyu da rabi kenan a yini idan idan ma mutun ya ya zanto me 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 irin nutsuwa din nayi zuwa a jami wani in ya buga ma sallah kai ka san ko shine aka ce karba ba zai karba ba amma dai tunda al'ada kawai shi musulmi ne yana sallah kawai sai sallah so sai ka samu sallan bata bata da wani tasiri a rayuwar sa bata da tasiri duk halittun Allah suna tasbihi ga Allah tabarak wa ta'ala ko dan adam ya so ko bai so ba haka Allah ta'ala ya kaddara musu kuma suna yi shi sai Allah ta'ala ce alam tara anna Allah yusabbihu lahu man fis samawati wal ardi duk abin da ke sammai duk abin da ke kasa suna tasbihi zuwa ga Allah tabarak wa tayr hatta tsuntsaye safatin wanda suke ainin tashi a sama ka ga tsuntsu ya tashi ya tashi idan yayi wani tafiya sai ya sake fukin sa ya sake amma yana tafiya tare da iska iska na kada shi inda yake tafiya ba tare da ma yana yana kada fukan ba to shi ma yana tasbihi ga Allah tabarak wa ta'ala dan adam idan yana son zaman lafiya dole ya tsare dokokin Allah tabarak wa ta'ala domin duniya duniya dan adam bai kawo komai wajen gina ta ba komai bai kawo ba da kasa da sama da Allah ya ambata mana suna tasbihi dan adam duk yawan dan adam ba su kawo gudunmuwa suka ba mu Allah suka ce ga namu wajen gina wannan wajen ba hasali ma shi dan adam in banda taurin kai na dan adam shi karan kansa fa wajen yinsa bai ba da komai ba komai bai bayar ba bai ka gurmawan kunne ba balle na kafa ko na ido komai yi mashi akai to amma sai ka samu yana bucilci ma Allah ta'ala da ba shi idan na ga ya duba da ya lissafi da kyau zai ga shi ba wata tsiya bace bawa kamar yadda Allah ta'ala ce bawa shi ne ma matsayi mafi girma da kamata a ba shi amma sai ka samu yana shishi yana wuce iyaka yana ma mantawa da Allah da ya lice shi yana ma ja da Allah wasu lokuta yana ma ganin dokokin Allah bai kamata ma a bi su ba dan adam usabbihu lahu man fis samawati wal ardi wa tayr hasun sai su ma suna tasbihi kullun Allah ta'ala ce dukkanin su kad alima salatuhu sun san wato ainin irin sallolin su wato addu'o'in su tasbihahu da kuma tasbihoyin su kowa ya san abin da ka dora mu shi kowa ya sani yana yi wallahi shi Allah alimun masani ne bima bisa abinda mutane ya fa'alu nan suke aikatawa Allah yana sani duk abinda muka aikata Allah ta'ala yana sani ba abinda ke buya ga Allah ta'ala ai kai ma dole ka san cewa Allah yana sani domin ina ka ce ma Allah shi yayi mu gaba daya nan dan wajen nan ma kadai ya shi abun mamaki da za a samu wani mai halitta ya halici iya mu da muke nan wajen ya cincinci duk duniya a zuwa ganshi dan nan wajen inda muke musallacin nan to ina ga wanda ya halici duk Abuja din Najeriya duk Afirka duk duniya duniyan ma kuma ga ruwa ke kuma ga halittu manya manya a cikin ta kuma aka ce duk duniyan nan da tekun da kowa ba mu kai komai ba a cikin halittun Allah ta'ala kuma yanzu bincike ya nuna rana da ake tinkawon ita wata katuwa ce an samu wasu rana sun fi rana girman ranan ita ma ta zaman to irin kankano a kan su abin cikin da ake na yanzu na zamani ta shedan adam ba wata tsiya ce ba Allah muna roƙon ka ka sanya mu cikin masu ma ibada eh da kuma yawan tasbihi kaga anan akwai bukatan mu yi tasbihi idan dai har halitu suna tasbihi to akwai bukatan yawan tasbihi zikiri tsarki Allah tabarak wa ta'ala wanda yake yana da sauki kuma yana da lada mai yawa Allah ba mu iko alam tara anna Allah yusabbihu lahu man fis samawati wal ard And this verse Allah the Most High is telling 
human being that if he worships Allah, he worships for his own benefit. If he rejects, he does so uh, on his own uh, problem. Alam tara anna Allah yasabihu lahu man fi samawati wal ard. Don't you see, didn't you see that unto Allah that whatever is in the heavens and the earth do glorify meaning all the creatures of Allah the ones you can see the ones you cannot see do glorify the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in submission to his worship it is only human being that uh, have free will those creatures they do not have free will they cannot <coughs> even think of disobeying Allah the Most High. Therefore, even if Allah the Most High uh, loves or likes himself to be worshipped, then the worship being dedicated to him by those creatures that did not even know how to disobey him is enough for him. However, human being has free will. The jinn also has free will. That is why you can find person being obedient today and tomorrow disobedient. Coming to observe prayer, if he likes, he absent himself because he has that free will and is, it is in accordance to that he is going to be uh, given his recompense. So all the creatures in the heavens and the earth do glorify the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa tayru safat including the beds with its wings wide spread. As they are flying, they are also glorifying the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if creatures like birds and those that are not as, as big as birds and those are, that are mightier than birds are worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, glorifying his name, if human beings then reject, he refused, then what will harm Allah the Most High? Nothing at all. Wallahu alimun bima yaf'alun. And Allah the Most High knows all that they are doing. Whatever form of worship they dedicate to Allah the Most High, Allah is aware. So also you, if you reject, you disobey, Allah the Most High is aware. If you obey Allah the Most High, He is aware of all you are doing. Nobody is going to tell Allah lies that you have done after all you have not done. وَلِلَّهِ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَإِلَى اللَّهِ الْمَصِيرِ نعم الله تعالى تشي وللله ملك السماوات والأرض ملك سمي دا ملك كسا ينا جا الله تبارك وتا شي سا حالي تسندا من ناسا كما دي حالي تندا كي تشكين سمي دا كسا سنا تسبيه جا الله تبارك وتا على سي الله تعالى تشي أباسني mulkin abin da ke sammai ga baki daya da gudanar da su yana hannun Allah tabaraka wata ko da an baka mulki kai na gidanka to mulki ne takaicecce kuma ba za ka tsallake gidan makwabcin ka ce za ka yi mulki a wajen ba ya nan dai gidan naka haka nan aka baka mulki na kamar hukuma to dai wannan kamar hukumar da aka zabe ka nan chairman din ka ta kare baka zuwa wata kamar hukuma ta kusa ka ce azo kai ne chama ta tsaya daidai nan in aka baka gwamna ta tsaya an ga ba su kasa kasan ku ba za ka wuce wani kasa ka je kai mulki ba kai da ana samu mai mulkin duniya a ce shine shuban kasan duniya shi ma nan ya tsaya bai sai je cikin teku ya ce a tare kifa yan ruwa zai musu bayani ba kuma a duniyar ma baka iya zuwa sama ka ce mala'iku ku zo ni aka zaba a kasan nan saboda ku zo za a muku bayani ba za ka iya ba mulkin ka takaicecce na lokaci a takaice na lo a takaice kuma na waje
dukkan nau'in aminci a barwa na garta da mai saya da mai sayarwa ai zamu ci tsadar da mujiyo masu iya magana ko suka ce dan juma ne da dan jummai ina masu sha'awar sayen dan fara dan faran gidaje na zamani na ajin karshe tsaka tsaki ko ko na kasa karbar hayar gida ofishi ko shago ko ko gina wa kai kake so mu kula ma su sauta gudu ka zumburburki daidai na properties limited kamfanin da ya shirya dan samarwa kulawa da saukawa mutane mu halli akan farashi mai rahusa kadan daga cikin yana gidan da ke karshen kulawar na properties limited sun hada da na properties develop site dake Kado district babban birnin Tarayyar Najeriya Abuja sa'an nan new complex dake area 10 Abuja SHM complex Mabusha Abuja Hiba Plaza gwaran fa dake garin Abuja New Water complex Jabi Abuja Sai concept plaza dake gwaran fa Abuja sa'an nan nawa industrial complex dake Idel Shima a babban birnin Tarayyar Najeriya Abuja Sai residential apartment dake Jabi Abuja na Najeriya Sai MKK Plaza dake guda Abuja na Najeriya da dai saurin su tabangaren Wuye mai Tama districts nawa properties limited muna nan a adreshi mai lamba AP Shida Amak Plaza dake kallon Heritage House akan titin Sultan Abu Bakar dake wasu zon 3 Abuja Nawa Properties Limited ana iya samun mu akan addressin mu na yanar gizo nawa pro98@gmail.com ko alambar mu ta salula 0780988886 ana iya samun mu akan 0850525599999 ko ko akan 0830365699999 Nawa Properties Limited farin cikin ku shine namu Nawa Properties Limited na gargashin madugu Haziki Alhaji Abdurrahman Buhari MK Chairman Nawa Properties Limited